Yeah. Hey, everybody. It's me, JB. I'm white now. <laughs> white Bizzle. Yo. <laughs> yo. You have to put a yo in there. Yo. Oh, shit. That wasn't meant to be racist, but it kind of sounded like ah, That's how I that legitimately way. talk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Corey Brennan Show. I'm Corey Brennan. That's not JB. Nope. Over there is my like new friend, but good friend, uh, comedian, improv actor, uh, what else? You're you're uh, uh, you're, male stripper, the heroin dealer, male stripper, um, heroin dealer, professional skateboarder. <laughs> His name's Chris Scriva, yeah. everyone. Welcome to the show. Chris. Yeah, thanks for having me. Ryan, of course, is on the ones and twos as always. Yeah, JB, he's actually um, he's at the uh, January 6th committee uh, protesting the people prosecuting them. He he was at actually there at January six. You know oh, that? that's pretty cool. Yeah, but yeah, he was the only black guy there. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, that's it. It, it's, it, it was tough for him though. He couldn't climb up. <laughs> he couldn't climb over the wall. Yeah, <laughs> he, he, he got stuck at that first gate. But he was there. Damn it! He actually lifted the uh, the guy the the, the guy looked like Trevor Austin. Yeah, with the helmet. The the guy with the Viking helmet. He yeah. lifted him up. So. He, cool. he, he was called. That's where he, uh, JB's at. He's JB, in Washington, D.C. A true patriot. He's actually protesting in defense of um, Alex Jones right now. Is he really? Yeah. 100% of you fuck with me. That's what he's doing. Dude, Alex Jones is this shit. I mean, he's in Virginia. Yeah. So, well, huh? kind of true. Cool. Um, <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the show. Uh, yeah. See, I hate like every time a comedian goes on a podcast, they're always like, how did you get into comedy? How did you, how did you, how did you? I don't, yeah. I only, really, like, if it comes up, it comes up. How did like, you get into comedy? Me? Yeah. Uh, Self loathing. Yeah. Uh, nowhere to turn. Uh, yeah. That's, that's basically, I literally, I didn't even know. It's weird. You watch comedy, like on Netflix and shit, and yeah. you don't think of like, there's a way to get to that point. You just yeah. think like those people are born in those spots. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think. I, I either someone told me to go to an open mic or like fucking I was watching Joe Rogan yeah and he's like go to an open mic and so I went to f- um Hambones yeah R.I.P. R.I.P. Hambones yeah we poured water all over the microphone <laughs> <laughs> and um I went there and I watched everyone first I didn't do anything I just watched that's what I did yeah and I saw how bad everyone was like I I expected to go there and it'd be like. Netflix specials. Yeah. And I went there and they were so fucking bad. And I was like, oh, I could be this bad. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and then I just tried it and I was that bad. Yeah. Usually worse. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude. This is just hard. <laughs> to this day, it's still my worst bomb ever. It was yeah. my first time on stage. Yeah. Um, that's why when people are like, yeah, we're on first date. It's the first time I killed it. I'm like, how? No, you need to bomb on a paid show. It's a, <laughs> it's a fucking bittersweet moment, you know? I Because like you still get paid yeah, no matter what, which is kind of funny, right? Have but you done also, that? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> okay, whenever you're, all the time. when you're getting paid, yeah, but like, how how long have you been doing it? Five and a half, almost six years. Yeah, so it's like you might bomb, but it's not the same bombing as like first year bombing. No, I still had like you. You have them on occasion. Okay, they come back. They'll come back to haunt you. You need one for an ego check. So if you just completely eat shit for like twenty minutes or whatever, yeah, and you're going to get paid, I'm still getting my fucking. Is it money. awkward? No, <laughs> I'm getting my money. I know. That's, I'd be yeah. the same way. I'd be like, "Thank you, bye bye." Thank you. Yeah. See you later. The worst <laughs> is, dude. Old ladies come up to you and they're like, "Oh, just keep it up, honey." I know. It's like, oh, I, I had a show at a comedy club in yeah. like a major city last week, but do, all right. Do you ever you ever do bad and someone like audience members come up and be like, "Hey, that was great," and you're yeah. like, "You have no fucking taste at all." <laughs> no, hey, have you ever been to like a show or a mic and you didn't go up and somebody came up to you after and like, "Hey, great set." <laughs> the fucking no. yeah, that's what comedians are such dick bags making shit up all the time I trying know. to like fake yeah. Great, great set tonight. Oh, that's cool because I got here four minutes ago. Oh, I hate those cunts. Yeah. Like no matter how you do on stage or hey man, good set. Yeah, good set. It's like, good set. Good set. Don't fucking lie to me. No, uh, it. I it was a bad set 20 minutes from here. You didn't see me <laughs> yeah. at all. Yeah. Yeah. I hate comedians. Yeah. But yeah, I haven't completely eaten shit on a paid show yet. I've had like bad moments. Yeah. But from like start to end, eat shit has not happened yet, thankfully. Not thankfully. That's bad. You need to, because <laughs> it's going to happen. It's going to fucking, it feels bad. You need it out of the way. I don't know, man. I, here's the thing. Did you ever get a girl dumping you? 
right? That like that makes a girl you, dump in me. Yeah, girl. Do you ever have a girl like a girl dump, dump in you with her balls? No, uh, <laughs> like a, a a fucking like a chick dump you. You, ever, you know? Oh, I've had yeah, girls cheat yeah, on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First time feels real bad, but it like mm. toughens you up a little bit. Oh, right? for right? sure. Yeah, you need to take that L for now. sure. Yeah, I mean, like I I get things about like things I say on Facebook and shit about girls. Yeah, and like how I'm a piece of shit and stuff like that. But like. When I was 17, I was, like, writing poems to girls and shit like that. Oh, really? Oh, my God, yeah. Did I it was... work? No, not at all. Dude, I I couldn't get any pussy. Do you have any of the poems? Oh, God. I Can I tell you something? I think I might... If I dug, I probably still have texts of being, that's like... A, that's a segment right there. Of being, like, I love you so much. Oh, I don't have my phone on me. But, um... <laughs> we need that to happen. You we can, can look it up. You can do it on my podcast. Okay, and then yeah, I'll, we can, I'll send you the recording. You can put it on yours. <laughs> <laughs> Use the clip. But yeah, I yeah. used to be like, I don't know. I would just do these long fucking soliloquies of like, I love you so much, and nothing could ever. But oh, uh, it's awkward to even talk about. Wait, I, so like, you would just come out of the gate with "I love you." Was no, it like no, 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 no. This dating? is like this is like girls like I was dating. We were oh. saying I love you, but like I would just like uh, I, I don't know what it is in my life like. I don't unless I blocked it out. I don't think I had anything extremely traumatic happen to me. My dad was kind of drank a lot, and did drugs and shit. But like, yeah. like there's something about me like I'll crave affection. Yeah. Do you want a hug right now? No. Okay. Um. Like it looks like you want a hug right now. <laughs> you, guys, am, you guys should hug. Do you want a kiss in the mouth right now? I'm quite uncomfortable right now. I'm yeah. not like not because of what you said, but yeah. just admitting all this shit. No, it's okay. Um, We're all cringes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. But yeah, even now, like, I have to check myself. Like, I'll just want to, like, it's like reassurance of, like, that she likes you and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, that insecurity. That, I mean, I check it now consciously, but I used to just unchecked when I was younger, just all the time, just wanting to be mushy and shit. Yeah. And uh, it doesn't work at all. Yeah, no, because that's what movies, like rom coms, want you to I be, think right? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe it's that. Yeah. And like, I used to listen to a lot of emo music kind of shit. So, what like, bands did you used to listen to? Oh, God, dude. Fucking all of them. Well, uh, all like, of them. My Chemical Romance. Ew. I know. That's the worst one, man. Old Fallout Boy. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Remember that song where it's like, tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. No, I, I didn't again. listen to that. <laughs> you didn't listen to it? Oh, yeah, my God. No, I was too alpha for that Ryan, shit. Ryan, do you know what I'm talking I about? I know the song. Okay. I can't think of what it is. One time I sat over a girl, and me and my brother shared a room, and I was listening yeah. to, uh, I, was, I had it in my headphones, and I had it on repeat. I played that shit <laughs> yeah, all night. Just being all deep and everything. And my yeah. brother in the morning was like, you're a fucking pussy. Yeah. I was like, oh, God, oh, my. It's just... Yeah, I don't know. But it turns you, like, girls treat you badly, and then you turn to a dick, and then it works, and then reinforces the dickness, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, so why why do they like being treated bad? It's <sighs> bizarre. I know that's going to upset people. And not, not no, like bad, like you go they and do. you, like, steal from their purse and smack them. Like, but, like, no, you just try to be nice to some. It's not, it's even, like, uh, you're, you're kind of a sales guy. Mm-hmm. Right, if you're like overly nice to a customer, they oh, walk yeah. all over you. It's yeah. like human psychology, male or female, right? Yeah, you gotta be like, at some point. You gotta be like, hey, dude, this is it. Do you want it or not? Yeah, like I don't need you. Yeah, right? like I got other people here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is weird. Like I'm talking to a girl right now who I used to date. Yeah, like we're kind of talking again, and it's like, yeah, she admits she's like, I was like, you enjoy being treated badly. Yeah, she's like, damn, like you're right, but it's like she's not alone. Like you said, most girls are like that. Most people are like that, though. Uh, yeah. I, I think I mean? more girls than guys. I guess. Like, you enjoy being treated poorly? No, I don't. But it's like yeah. a cycle. No. So what it is, like, do you uh, have you ever read uh, The Game by no. Neil Strauss, Neil Strauss, whatever it is? Uh -oh. Dude, it's like an incel Bible. It's pretty awesome. Like, uh, <laughs> it's it's like a, not a pickup artist manual, but it's a guy, he's a writer for Rolling Stone okay. that went to follow mystery. You, re you remember VH1, the pickup artist? Oh my God. Yeah. yeah they had yeah. a show. Yeah. So yeah. they followed that guy, but a whole thing of it's like you nag somebody, right? When you uh, nag them, like you lower their like self-esteem and that, it's like a really shitty like manipulated way, but like they have to like prove themselves to you, right? Like a backhanded compliment? Yeah. Something yeah. like that. But like that cycle, like psychology works. I know people that sell like that. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. You know, but there's people that do that like that dress is so ugly but it looks okay on you or something yeah. like that or yeah. like you do something like uh i don't know but yeah you know Corey, your show uh would be pretty good if you know you're a little bit more experienced you know oh like, have me on shit sometime. yeah you know like, yeah. So, somebody fuck, did that i want to you. fuck you now huh yeah <laughs> no, okay. i was just trying to get booked on the Corey brennan show That's, <laughs> yeah yeah no that it's it's weird like there is a cringiness about that pickup artist shit but some of it does work 
Dude, it's all it's all just uh, the stuff they teach in the book. It's like under like the I uh, was the word context, I guess not context. Uh-huh. Under like the 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 what they're using it for. Yeah, it's kind of like weird and like kind of not cool, right? Mm-hmm. You know, it's kind of like kind of shitty, right? Yeah. Manipulating people, but like some of the stuff they talk about, like okay, you know, be more comfortable, be more confident, you know, yeah. don't let people walk on you, you know. Yeah. And then when you get into the shittier stuff like that and NLP, neuro linguistic programming, which I don't get. I've heard of that. Yeah. It's like mirroring and shit like that, but I think like growing up in like the like insulated Jehovah's Witness community, like I was kind of oh, felt like a badass all the time. Let me ask you one question. Yeah, go ahead. Have you witnessed Jehovah? No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Nary a single time has he made himself <laughs> evident to Sounds me. Sounds like a poser. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! How hilarious would it be if you? I just witness had, like, Jehovah all the time. Really? Yeah, he says you suck. Oh uh, yeah, that I don't blame him for. <laughs> I was a, I was maybe the worst Jehovah's Witness of all time. How? Just I didn't follow any of the rules. I was constantly in trouble. Like, what are the rules? Is it just like, uh, like super strict Christianity? Um. Okay. So like the rules that like would trip me up. Um. No sex before marriage. Okay. Like no porn, none of that yeah, shit. You know, you're not supposed to jack off. That's like Catholicism. They're all kind of the same. Yeah, right? but yeah. Catholics are like no sex before marriage. Like they don't yeah. really care. You know what I mean? Old school ones, I guess. Uh, I guess Ryan grew up real religious, but he Ryan was like that, religious. like like no name Christian. Oh, uh, like a rock and roll church. Or yeah, they have, like cool bands. Like the leader of the church wears like jeans and a button down. Hey, hey guys, you want to go zip lining later? <laughs> 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 I have cargo shorts. Nailed it. Yeah. Hey, oh, man, yeah. you living blessed today or what? How Dude, are we doing? I was, I was always so jealous of those kids, right? <laughs> Why? They have like a cool youth pastor, at, like skateboards and shit. <laughs> yeah, that's I true. just gotta go sit in a church yeah. and feel sad about shit. Hey, kids, I just got some new vans. What do you think about them? Oh, hey, man, you want to check out my Yu Gi Oh cards later? <laughs> <laughs> what What kind of Christian were you in? What? what? Um, like non denominational yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Like Creed Creed Christianity. Yep. Like they listen to Creed all the time. Yeah, hell yeah. Can you take me higher? That's a very, very large production budget though. Right. It's about to be. Yeah, it's always a lot of money. Were you like the kind of guy like oh I can't remember their names now? Like where they have like all the uh Christian rappers and stuff. Those kids in my school would always love. I, I, like look, look, Cray. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, Lecrae, dude. Yeah, they always be like yeah. look, Cray, and then like yeah. I was like, let me check out this look, Cray guy, right? And I click it, and it's a song about like, yeah, you wash your car instead of going to church, going to hell. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> really it can't here. be cool. No, it can't be. Have you prayed today? Yeah, gotta pray away the gay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's not good. Yeah, dropping bombs like psalms. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying on the song. Have you, Shit. Have you ever, on the adverse side of that, have you ever heard of the rapper, his name, we talked about last week, his literal name is Gangsta Faggot? No, Oh, I no, haven't. Gangsta Fag. Yeah, I'm going to clip you saying that word, though, and have it as my yeah, ringtone every time. Isolated. Oh, look, can you look him up, please, on YouTube? He, he has music on YouTube. Yeah, let's put him on. It's fucking. <laughs> is it like a young red fly? You ever he... listen to a boy pussy song? No. It's like pop that, pop that, pop that boy. We'll, we'll pussy. look that up too. But it's on YouTube, yeah. But he, um, like he's an actual gay dude who's just like hood as fuck. Who this is, is old. Who is it? Gangsta fag, one word. And again, that's just his name. I didn't pick it for him. Yeah, he wants it. Do yeah, that one. Oh no, this is fake. No, isn't, this is real. Isn't this Joe Rogan or something like that? Somebody said I thought. No. I heard him. I think he might talk about it, but no, this is real as fuck. I think Gangspack died. They don't need to see this. Wait, wait, just wait for it. See, I was getting high with my boys one day. Just kicking back, hanging out in LA. When this dude drove by and it's really fun. It sounds like twisted. A white dude, 30 something. Like he wanted something. He called me over and he asked for directions. I saw his dick was hard, so I beat this car. There's no way this guy is serious. It's real. It's not real. Like, real, is it real? This is a character. I'm very, very straight. The guy says, can't start the weekend without the song. <laughs> my, the dude says, my English very bad, but I play this every day. Good American rap. <laughs> then you've seen them all. All right, that's good. 
Dude, uh, uh, there's the a more modern are one. Great. Yeah, he the song I've listened to the song about three thousand times. Yeah, it's about him meeting this straight dude or this dude who says he's straight, yeah. and then gangsta fag turns him. Yeah, and oh, he yeah. ends up fucking him in his kid's bed and all this shit. It's that's wild. pretty alpha. It's alpha as fuck. Yeah. yeah, that's the most alpha you can get. No, I, here's the thing. He's only a top. He's no bottom. Dude, uh, well, I mean, what if you're a power bomb? That's kind of that's true. Kind of cool, dude. Look up uh, if you get a chance, look up uh. Um, said the pussy boy, young, young red, a red young fly or young red fly, the boy pussy, song. <laughs> boy pussy. It, dude, it goes hard. Yeah, 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 dude. The that boy pussy. Yeah, dude. Throw that boy pussy. This could be playing. I don't even know. It like it, it just how, goes hard. How old it's is like it? A soldier boy song, like six, seven years old, I think. This is definitely Soldier Boy shit. Yeah. <laughs> About to make him dance now. Nah. Yeah. yeah, you got, you got. Uh... Oh my god! He has a bunch of dudes twerking. Yeah, it's not the greatest music video of all time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, JB's uh, gonna be so sad he missed this. <laughs> He'd be so uncomfortable right now. Oh, the lyrics are great. Fucking, yeah. Let me get a rubber. Holy shit. From the bag, round of applause. <laughs> what is Wow. Yeah, I'm trying to get you back home and see if you could clap that ass on this dick. Yeah, I see you over that twerking. Yeah. That ass got my attention. I hit your ass with this dick. Alright, that's Baby. enough. That's Dude, fucking that hilarious. Hard? It's actually not a bad song. No, it's great. Yeah. I have it on several Spotify playlists. <laughs> oh, it's on Spotify? Yeah. Fucking A. Dude, he's serious. He's about that life. Yeah, it's weird that we you don't see more gangster gay rappers. Like Lil Nas X is rapper, but like well, I mean, it's like a whole the whole art form is built on misogyny and homophobia. Yeah, but so it like, kind of goes away from. It's like uh, you like metal music at all? You ever listen to metal mm, music? Yeah. When like everybody's like, "Well, this is a white metal band. We're Christian." It's like, oh uh, yeah, the fuck out. That's of here. the worst. Yeah. Christian metal bands. Yeah. Oh. There's what mortification? You ever hear that? No. That old school death metal band. <laughs> no. It fucks. That's good. <laughs> Are they that Christian? Gets, yeah, dude. It's just like <laughs> sitting there like. Uh, fucking shredding, talking about the old testament. I love Jesus. Yeah, I love Jesus. No, it's more about like people getting fucked up in the old testament. But like, oh my god, it's pretty metal. But the rest of them are like, I don't know. Like just imagine cradle of filth, but lamer. I mean, if you think about it, really, the most successful Christian band, yeah, to make it in mainstream is Creed. It's Creed. Creed. Who's better than Creed? Slayer. They're not Christian. Yeah, they are. They Slayers are Christian bands? Christian bands? thematic throughout. Really? Yeah. I don't know if listen to Slayer that much. Yeah, it's all everything's about the devil. Well, <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, yeah, I don't know. I think it's anti-Christian, but yeah. Well, yeah but actually, technically. Technically. I mean, I mean, ACDC talk about the devil all the time. Yeah, ACDC has the same song over and over again. You watch your goddamn mouth Yeah, fucking ACDC. Uh, ACDC. You put on WDVE. Like, I can't <laughs> tell if they play the same song or they're just playing their whole discography. Yes, yes. it's the same. It's like they were the baby of the day. It's uh, the same song over and over again. Yeah. Just different a little bit. Yeah, it's like a uh, really shitty guitar riff. That's... What? <laughs> Angus was one of the greatest guitar players of his time. I don't know. What's another overrated band that everybody likes? ACDC is probably the, the king of the hill. Maybe. Um, hmm. Overrated? Yeah, overrated. Um, I mean, Metallica's good, but I feel like they get way more love than they deserve. Metallica should have just stopped making music yeah. like, around Master of Puppets. Yeah, they they yeah. keep like they keep making weird music. Same thing with uh, Guns N' Roses. Like they kept making music. Stop. Yeah, it just need to stop. Well, I mean, Slayer did that too. Uh, where they just started making new metal, which is weird. I don't know. I don't want to go. That's why I appreciate tangent. Billy Joel. He quit making music. He just he's been performing. He he still performs all the time. He just plays his old shit. Plays yeah, that's pretty cool, he doesn't man. he doesn't try and make new Play shit that no one wants to hear. Be, you're telling me he's pretty much like an open mic comedian. He's playing the hits. <laughs> just same set for fifteen years. Dude, you know what's wild? Moving away and coming back. I've been gone for three, three and a half years. Same shit that I heard when I started. Like same shit that I heard when I went. Yeah. To the open mics to watch like you did. Yeah. Like not to like shit on anybody. It's not everybody, but there's still some. It's a lot of like, people. 
I think you got it down, man. There's a lot of people that we like. Yeah. That do that. It's a lot of people. I love the Pittsburgh comedy scene. What did you miss about it? Because you you were you no. grew up in Aliquippa. Well, right? all over. I was in okay Pittsburgh yeah, area, Chippewa, Aliquippa, oh. Rochester. Yeah. And uh, Beaver County. Beaver County. You're a Beaver County the, King, and then you yeah. moved to Chicago. Yeah. And uh, did pretty well there. Did okay. Eh, you got a, sh- a regular show going to Lincoln Lodge. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's better Thank than you. most. Yeah. And then you now you're coming back for a little bit. Yeah. What did you miss about Pittsburgh? The Pittsburgh or Pittsburgh comedy? Pittsburgh comedy. Okay. Pittsburgh comedy. Um, okay. So we all know everybody. And like, there's a lot of like stupid little beefs. And everybody says they hate each other and yeah, shit. Yeah. It's not. It's like you're hating your brother, right? You fight. You see them every day, right? Mm-hmm. We're out there. Um, there's a ton of people that are, they're good, right? But it's also like a competition. Yeah. You know, where it's not so much. It's more serious. It's like a hang here. It's more of a hang. Yeah. So it's more of like a, a tight knit scene. Like I have a lot of friends out there, right? But uh, there, there's just some weird moments. Uh, it's just more people, you know. Well, there's also like it, real it, opportunity out there. Yeah. To an extent. I mean. So anytime yeah. there's going to be real opportunity, there's going to be more competitiveness to yeah. chase those opportunities. It's going to be more serious than it's people Pittsburgh. Move. There's not a lot of opportunities that get thrown no, out. No, people don't move here to do that. They move there no. to do that, right? I mean, right. you could realistically do it from here. Mm. You know, you just got to go all the time out. Yeah. Or put stuff on the internet like uh, Joey does. Yeah. You got to blow up independently of Pittsburgh. Yeah. Yeah. Which, like, you can't really, like, there's people in Chicago, too, that's kind of weird. Like, yeah, there's opportunities there in the clubs and everything like that, but, like, nobody really blows up there, but stand up. It's like they a, get good there to move to LA or New York. Yeah. It's like a, it's a theater town. Well, so Hannibal. He's an actor. He, Hannibal. he moved to New York. Okay. He's back. Sebastian. I don't think he lives there, does he? I think he, he grew up in, in Chicago. Yeah, yeah. But, like, oh. they, they leave. Oh, right. Yeah. So. It's still even after COVID, it's still only LA and and New York. That's it. Kind of. I mean, there's still the internet people though. That's yeah, but when are they ever good? Right like now. Trevor Wallace. Right now. That's it. Well, yeah, we're blowing up right now. This is gonna go viral. Yeah, we get canceled for all the misogynistic and homophobic stuff we <laughs> yeah. open with. They're like you, yeah. you. We let you say gangster fag three times. Yeah, no, you, you said it yeah, way too Corey, many times. You let yeah. you say gangster three times. <laughs> You're scared to say it. Huh? It's his name. Yeah, I don't want to get canceled. From what? People will clip that. Okay, here's what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Uh, it's not a matter of if, it's when, right? I'm going to yeah. make it, I'm going to blow up, and this could be like my Shane Gillis moment. Oh, it will. Yeah. But it, uh, look how much it helped Shane Gillis. He, if, it didn't, if Shane Gillis didn't get canceled, he would have been stuck performing on SNL. Yeah. He's way bigger now with the path he took than if he would have gone on SNL. You don't think performing on SNL would be cool? No. What if he, like, fixed it? He wouldn't have. He wouldn't have. Yeah. Because it's the writers. It's uh, There's all time. Every person, every season who comes through, the real funny people are always like, this place fucking blows. Yeah. Like, unless you become a head writer like Michael Che. But if you're not, like, there's so many great comedians that went through there. They're like, no, it's a fucking But then I could tell somebody I, I was on SNL. Yeah. It's like you get, like, a, a stamp. Not what it used to be. You don't think so? Only for half the population. I guess, yeah. It panders too far left. Yeah, for sure. That's why like Shane he actually Gillis- doesn't even try anymore. <laughs> like, have you have you watched Shane Gillis's uh, sketches online? Yes. So much better yeah. than any SNL skit what right was now. Was it uh, ISIS Toyota? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ISIS Toyota. Yeah. Fucking hilarious. We don't. Yeah. Let's not plan. But if you're listening to this, go watch Gillian Keeves. It's he's yeah, and he's cool. apparently he's about to drop some new ones too, which is that'll dope. be cool because they stop for a while. Yeah, like he did it as like promotion for his stand up, which was dope. I love his sketches, Ryan Long sketches, like all those guys' yeah. sketches. Yeah, but like Ryan Long on SNL, he couldn't. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, think of someone who's like really funny right now who fit in SNL. I don't listen to that kind of comedy. Yeah, you can't even name one. That's yeah. like that's my point. Is like it's it's dying. Yeah, it's dead. Like the people who watch SNL also think. That like AOC is really funny. Well, she's I'm hilarious. Well, she, yes, but they think she's she's Jewish. Did you know? They that? think she's funny unironically. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's Jewish. Yeah, really? Look it up. AOC. Yeah, I mean, I believe you. It's, it's so fine. she just randomly told a bunch of people she's Jewish. Oh, she did. Yeah. But she's not. But I think it's like very small. <laughs> it seems fake. I don't know. I'm not a political person. I mean, I'd fuck her. Don't get me wrong. 
a reveals her Jewish heritage. I knew it. If you go back five hundred years, she was Jewish in Spain. I sensed it. <laughs> She's like, I those. always love matzo balls. If you go back far enough, I'm African. True. Boom! Just unlocked a whole new vocabulary. <laughs> 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 oh logic. shit you are italian right are you, yeah. are you sicilian no calabrian it's okay. like the same thing <laughs> they're just Kinda. kicking the boot yeah you, you, there's some more no, they're you. kicking them huh there's some more the moors yeah the moors yeah the moors they're the they're moors. blacks and and whites and 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 uh middle eastern all in one yeah i i show up on my uh 23 and me is 0.9 percent iranian really yeah. You kind of look Iranian. Yeah, thank you. Call me Xerxes. <laughs> I'm you, like a fucking dude, Kim K. Do you right? look at carpets? You're like, that costs exactly this no, much. I look at it, I'm like, I'm going to fly that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Iranians are actually the most, probably the most pompous of the Middle East. Really? They believe they're the best. Yeah. They're like the Cubans of Spanish people. Like or like the ja- like the Japanese of Asians, like yeah. they think they're the best. Yeah, they think they're the best. Yeah, that's the Iranians in the Middle East. Okay, why why is that? Um, that's just how they are. The Persian, they got that Persian background. Like the and... only only people I really Middle Eastern people I really know are mostly like Lebanese and Syrian, probably because of where I'm we Syrian, live, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I know a lot of Iranians too. A lot of Iranians come to America. Yeah, um, not a lot of like. Pakistanis too. There's a and, and not in Pittsburgh, but in America, there's a big Pakistani. Like New York is a huge Pakistani population. Yeah, I had a, a teacher from Pakistan. It was cool as hell. Really? Yeah. Yeah, some of them are. So I found out what uh, Farsi was. I was like, whoa, never heard of that. Oh, the language. Did that yeah. shit just come out. Sick. Yeah. You can't say anything without sounding like you're gonna blow up. Really? Like Farsi. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's like the most aggressive form of. What does your tattoo say? You got some. This one. Yeah. Uh, it says. Suck dicks. No, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, I, know, I know. Yeah, yeah. Whenever people ask at work and stuff, I'm like, it's a grocery list. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I go <laughs> weep deeply in the bathroom. It's uh, <laughs> it says persevere. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Do you have any other tattoos? Uh, this one here. What's this one? It's a swastika. It's <laughs> yeah. It's just it's deconstructed swastika. No. <laughs> On camera right now, it sort of does look. Like uh, yeah. No, it's called an ingas. Yeah. Uh, it's a Viking rune, and like so, like they would like write in symbols. Yeah, and it's a symbol that basically like. Like it can mean like when there's a world, there's a way, or like celebrating after hard work, stuff like that. Are you so you're Scandinavian? Uh yeah, actually. So um, it turns out on my dad's side, uh, someone if you go up far, far enough got fucking raped and pillaged by some. Oh, that's Vikings. just what they did. Right? Yeah, because I have that in my blood too. Oh. And then I have uh, th- on my this like. Well, oh, the same one as uh, American History X. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? That's kind of cool. Uh, you didn't see that camera. Nope. Okay. It looks like a drunk people it's, playing tic tac toe. It's uh, <laughs> it's a Viking poem oh, about shit. the end of the world. Dude, here's That's how sick. Here's how dope Vikings were, right? Here's how fucking tough and yeah. like. So they believe like their version of Armageddon, Ragnarok. Yeah, they believed that everyone was gonna get killed. Basically, the gods were gonna die. The giants were gonna die, and most people were gonna. Yeah, some some optimist. people would survive. Yeah. yeah, but like. Their whole world was living to impress the gods. Yeah. But even though they're like, look, the gods are going to die and we'll probably die, but we should still be awesome right now. Yeah. It's like, they, like, if you said to a Christian, like, hey, by the way, the God you worship, he's also going to die in Armageddon. Yeah. They would completely toss all their morals and like ideals to the side and start living like completely. They'll just start jacking it right there. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. dude. Like, but like Vikings were like, Listen, we still have to fucking chisel our teeth and go fuck people up for the gods. Okay, like, who do you who do you think would win? Like in their prime, the Vikings, the Romans in their prime. Okay, right in their prime. Uh, you know the Chinese, like one of the dynasties. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The American military complex. <laughs> that. Or, <laughs> <laughs> or the Since they guys. have nukes. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine just like. A hundred thousand Romans and like shields and swords, yeah, it's, like it's spears, like just got pink, 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 no. just like falling all over. Are we are going to fuck you up, and yeah. then and then fucking Trump just hits the button. Son of a bitch! Uh, 
It's a wagon has a cannon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that in the sky? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just takes Italy off the map. Yeah. Yeah. I would say the American military complex is probably the most impressive army yeah. in in history. Okay, but what if you gave the Romans tanks? And our soldiers' shields. If it was hand to hand combat, yeah, is that what you're saying? No, remember that they, show? They, we give them tanks. They have to learn how to drive the tank. <laughs> <laughs> They've never even seen a car. I can't learn a stupid a fucking tank. <laughs> I think. <laughs> remember that show on Discovery where he's oh like, yeah, where they warrior? would do it. Yeah, I used to watch it all the time. It would be like Attila the Hun versus yeah Vlad the Impaler or some shit like that. Yeah. You know what I mean. That was a great show. Think about all the shitty TV shows that just like took up our time during the day. Yeah, like, there was when, a lot of that. Yeah, I, but they're amazing. It's that, all on would... YouTube now. Same shit. No, YouTube. do you know where it's at? Fucking Pluto TV. Yeah, hell on Roku, dude. Yeah. Fucking Pluto TV is the greatest. I've just found it recently. Is the greatest fucking shit of all this time. Podcast is Are brought we getting to you by paid? Tubi. What's that? Are we getting paid by them? No, but I don't give a shit. It's fuck. They have sixteen and pregnant channel where it's twenty four hours of sixteen and pregnant. They have every single fucking channel you could ever, and it's free as fuck. It's free. It's free. Pluto TV. Pluto TV. It's it's so janky. Like when you don't like, like I watch Bar Rescue TV all the time. Yeah. It's twenty four hours of Bar Rescue, and there's commercials and shit. Yeah. But it's dope. It's it's amazing. It has Actually, all those. What's that? I think I watched The Godfather two on one of them. Yeah, it has tons of movies. You just gotta watch commercials, but yeah. I think no. commercials were good. Did I watch it? What was what did I watch? Was it Once Upon a Time in New York? Great, you, one of the most underrated. It, okay, movies. so it's crazy, right? An Italian guy wrote the movie, and he goes, "I'm gonna write a movie about New York gangsters." He goes, "The Jews, the Jews, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah." And then it's just like going really good, and that's just like. Here's a rape scene. Yeah. And it's just like... Well, it's a three-hour, three-and-a-half-hour movie. Yeah. But he's actually correct, because the, 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 the movie is takes place in New York in the 20s. Yeah. And the Jewish mob did run shit. Yeah, well, then. the Jewish mob started the modern Italian mob. Really? Yeah, kind of. Wasn't that like uh, Lucky I, Luciano, whatever, was influenced by... Um, wasn't Meyer Lansky... Like the Murder Inc. guys or whatever. I'm trying oh. to remember my history shit's all fucked no, up. No, by uh, the guy who rigged the 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 Black Sox game. Yeah, um, and then that's, Arnold Rothstein. And they were working with like all the other like uh, the yeah. Irish, the Italians, the Jews. Everybody were all working together. And the old school guys with the mustache piece didn't like it. And in the middle of the night, he went and just popped them all. Right, and made the five family. So yeah, Jewish mafia started Italian mafia, kind of huh? modern. I, I that is one way. thing I kind of like. As I, I regret's not the I, like I kind of sad about like we'll never live in a time when like organized crime can take over again. Why would you want that? That sounds terrible. Seems awesome. Yeah, it, it's like a thing that started out a necessity for these like immigrant people that I know. were just shit on. I know had no opportunities, and then it got yeah. corrupt, and it just became like. But when it was good, it was great. Neighborhoods were safe. Like yeah, unless you were in it, for you were safe. People. How do you know there's no organized crime now? Uh, it just got more there organized. Is. Yeah, there's a shit ton of it. It just got more organized. Yeah, it it's did. all human trafficking, though. It's all like scary white people, like Russians Half and Polish. the fucking and... car dealerships are fucking. Yeah. Really? Mobbed up, I bet, yeah. Explain. It just seems like it. <laughs> Big fat guy comes in with rings on. You're like, yeah. I know, that's true. Yeah, fat Tony, here he comes. <laughs> I just like to make bold claims. Like, it's fact, yeah. 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 It working. So, you've been in dealerships for a while. Yeah. Well, well you're not anymore. I've been in dealership but... for two years. You're not two years, yeah. Uh, you're only there for two years? Yeah. I'm three weeks in the one. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty hilarious experience. Yeah. It's, it's probably the most fun job I've ever had. It is wild. But I'm, it's the most aggravating job I've ever had. Extremely. People, you really, like, I thought I hated people before. I'm yeah. really starting to hate people now. Yeah, it's shitty. weird. People walk into a dealership and they're just like, "I can do and say whatever I want." Like yeah. they lose all sense of like social. They forget that you're a person sometimes. Yes, that's why you have to be like, "Don't talk to me like that," or "Get the fuck out." Right? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's an interesting thing. But the thing is, it works. Like if you cause a scene in a dealership, you will get whatever you want. Depends on the dealership. Oh, really? Yeah. This one, you fucking get whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, the one I worked at would be like, "Get the fuck out." Really? Yeah. What what uh what were you selling? Um, Audis. Okay. In Pittsburgh. Do the math. 
<laughs> I well, like it, like they you, they would like not let people talk down to their which is good, right? You, yeah. you shouldn't you shouldn't it's not you shouldn't be able to be abused no. at work by the customer or anybody, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Huh. I'm in service though, which is different because people are always coming in with a problem. You're the real scumbags, the service writers. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, sales guys are stealing. No, everything's on the internet. You got a little micro computer in your pocket. You click, look up prices all over to see if you're getting a good deal or facts. Service guys are like, oh, okay, yeah. So you came in for uh, tire rotation. Looks yeah. like you're gonna need a transmission. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, you came in for an oil change. Well, that's gonna be twenty five hundred dollars. We need yeah. all new tires, new fucking tie rods, and everything. Yeah. But it's it is weird. Like my manager is so comfortable being like, yeah, like someone came in for a tire rotation. Like, hey, yeah. we found this. It's actually going to be three thousand dollars, and you can't leave unless you fix this because it's unsafe to drive. And yeah. I'm like, holy fuck, that is some mob shit. Yeah, I mean, like, well, there's certain things that are like that. But you know what the problem yeah. is? Because it, it was the same thing with the car salesman. There's like a lot of good car salesmen. I would say probably ninety percent of them. They're good, and they're yeah. just trying to make like money. Honest, you mean? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. don't want to fuck you over. And, and here's the way I would sell: would be relationship based. I want you to come back, right? I want to be their guy for anything. Like, you have a question about tires, you call me, right? Yeah, right? yeah anything yeah. car related, you come to me, right? And, and you want to be friendly. You don't get that when you lie to people and dick them over, right? But ten percent of them do mess it up, and that, that's what gets that whole stereotype. Plus, also, it doesn't help they have movies like. Um, I can't even remember some of the suckers and stuff that make mm. the car salespeople look bad. The used but car w- sales guy is different. No, it's the same guy a lot of times. Oh, you mean at dealerships? Yeah. Yeah, but I mean like those like... Like Matilda's dad. <laughs> <laughs> what? Matilda's dad was the used car guy. He would drive the cars in reverse on jack stands to make the miles <laughs> like, go down. Great pull. Yeah. Deep, great pull. It's got deep cut. <laughs> but anyway, so, but like... The service department guys, same thing, right? People are so used to just getting screwed by like the ten percent of bad ones. They're like, yeah. "Hey, there's something like that could go catastrophically wrong with your vehicle or kill your children." Yeah. Like, you drive it, and they're like, "This is bullshit." Yeah, people are like, "You're trying to get money out of me." I'm like, "I'm literally too new to even lie to you." The cords and the tires had traction. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh fuck! I like it when it shoots sparks on my drive. <laughs> <laughs> well. This has been our dealership break. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, let's take a quick um, break. We'll be right back. <laughs> what a funny episode this is. Isn't that JB just so crazy? Well, normally an ad would be here, but I removed those because I care about you. Do you care about me? Then share the show. Share it everywhere. Everywhere you can share it, share it. Much like a Mormon does with whatever book they have, I'd like you to share this episode. Thank you. And we're back. Boom. Welcome back to the Corey Brennan Show. So Dude. Do, I, oh, go ahead. Does uh, JB ever slide out of this chair? I feel like I'm on a sliding board. Maybe. Yeah. He never, t- he never shows. I want to get him a lazy boy chair for there. Well, I feel like I'm a lazy boy. I feel like I'm presenting my stomach like I'm fucking Jabba the Hutt over here. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, 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 I've gained the fucking weight. I, I remember I, I, I look like my grandfather. Who just Dude. was like really fat and had the big Jesus piece looking all like. <laughs> we need to put Ryan in a bikini and chains and put him next to you. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> like Leia. Yeah. Dude, that's fucking. That's Jawa, a- baka, dude, dude. <laughs> just me talking like that and shit. <laughs> but it's like a slime trail on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! That Can you is imagine funny. Jabba the Hutt driving a Tacoma? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've seen it. Was, yeah, <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> I. Uh, yeah, JB. He always does. He goes, man. I look so big here. I'm like, I don't. Because yeah, like, I feel like I'm fucking like I'm fat as shit. But like, come on, like I look. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Corey Brennan show. Wait, well, yeah, I need to get. I a keep self consciously like pulling it out from my like titties, like. <laughs> We, I need to get a big lazy boy there. Actually, we're yeah, moving yeah. the we're moving the studio. That's pretty cool. We're going downtown. Downtown. It, it is. Did you just reveal that? Yeah, it's Live? it's 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 for, it's for sure happening. I got confirmation. So hopefully we'll be getting you know all types of cool guests. The homeless like people Chris. from downtown. Yeah, we'll be getting uh, people who we give food to come in. Um, yeah. The rose guy. Yeah, dude. I. Uh, Hell yeah, dude. Who? The guy that hands out flowers. Yeah, oh Rose my guy? god, dude! We used to have to kick him out when I worked down there in the combo. They had to kick him out all the time. He I kick him in. out of that bar. Oh four yeah, nights a week probably. C- yeah, you you. Uh, so he goes to your place too. I thought yeah, he was going he south walks, side. No, he walks right in. I always have to. I look in the man. Come on, just get the fuck out. You yeah. already know. They used to come to Scarps. 
Really? Yeah, that's, his, that's his yeah. area. Bro, does he how does he get around? Probably in a car. Or he's, maybe he walks. I thought he was homeless. <laughs> No, no one's ever yeah, homeless. Homeless people are still mobile. They're not all like Lieutenant Dan wobbling. Yeah, to, but to walk from Mount Washington to downtown to Southside? Here's what you don't understand. We're fat, right? Us walking yeah. to the refrigerator is hard. This motherfucker, right. his life is walking. I know. Right? He's like Jesus. He just keep going. A lot of those guys are phonies anyways. Like not actually homeless? Yep. Yeah. They have like Mercedes and shit and they'll like drive away. The one was making like $60,000 on like... From selling roses? Right? No, no, just from asking yeah. for money. It was, like wow. a big, it was in Pittsburgh, wasn't it? That's fucking wild. Yeah, so you heard it here, Corey Brennan podcast. Not only are we misogynistic, homophobic, and racist, also hate the homeless. We hate the homeless. Hate the homeless. <laughs> I'm a homeless phobic. <laughs> oh god. I <laughs> actually and uh okay, so I watched this documentary. It was called The Most Hated Guy on the Internet. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember the dude's name, but anyways, this guy he was like twenty two. Yeah. He started this website called Is Anyone Up? Yeah. W- which I can't believe you don't remember this. I remember this as a thing. Like it was so basically on is anyone up? It started off as like he would put naked pictures of bands, like when band like when pictures would leak of like singers or bands, whatever, he would put them up. Yeah. And then it turned into he opened it up where anyone could submit. And so dude started submitting like pictures of their ex girlfriends who like say like yeah. a girl cheated on her or something like that. He would put her picture up. But then they took it a step further. So you put the girl's picture up. Yeah. The is anyone up guys would find her Facebook, her actual Facebook profile, and yeah. link it to the picture. So right under her naked yeah. picture, you could see her Facebook profile. Yeah, and people could comment on shit like that. And uh, so they ratted on themselves. Well, th- it blew up. It like blew the fuck up. Where people were like it was the connection of like seeing who they are in everyday life and then seeing them yeah. naked. I I don't know. But um, back when that site was coming out, there was no. Revenge porn laws. Yeah. You they, like the the they went to the law and they're like, we can't do anything. Isn't that about crazy? It. Somebody could just have a picture of you and put it wherever. Bro, the internet was fucking wild. Yeah, I miss those days. Yeah, dude, days of tub girl and fucking dude. Remember E bombs world? Yeah, I was supposed to say E bombs world. Yeah, fucking is E bombs world still around? That's a really good question. I remember? You uh, think it is? Before we look it up, you think it's still there? I think it is. It probably just sucks now. I bet. It's, oh, you think they just dumbed it down? I don't know. I just remember being on E-Bombs World, and my uh, dad was like, you can't go on there. I'm like, why? He goes, you know, it's not all just funny stuff. There's some really adult things on there, too. And then it was like, guy has a bad day, and he stood up and had his head cut off by a helicopter. And I was like, <laughs> I'm done on here. I'm done on here. Remember Ogrish? Like no, yeah. I, I fucking loved those sites when I was younger. Why? I don't know. I'm, there's I don't things not see right. that shit. Like, you know, you know what the thing is? It got to the point where I'm so desensitized to shit like that. I could just see it and I'm like, thank you. That's like, what I mean. I need, why did I need that yeah, in my life? It wasn't that like I wanted to see it, which sounds kind of psychopathy. It was more just like. It's the only thing that get me off. <laughs> yeah, how <laughs> was, am I supposed to come? <laughs> like, it was just, I don't know. It, like, to see like a motorcycle. A motorcycle who crash like into six pieces, just like you don't see it every day. Uh, it's just I don't know. I guess I, I don't want to see it though. Like I get okay, that's the healthy way to be about it. Yeah, but. Like, I don't I, like I don't need to see that image. Like I just don't need to see most of the people stand up. Okay, so what's your leave. what's your like every person who performs has like a weird thing about them. What is your weird <laughs> thing? It's not a weird thing. Yeah. What's oh, like what, what's the weirdness like? I only have a. I don't know. Really? Yeah. You don't because it's normal to me. What? What do you mean? It's, it's relative. Like I don't know what my weird thing is because my weird thing's normal in my world. So like seeing a dude with his head chopped off by a helicopter was like normal. Yeah, on the internet at that point. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, but what I'm saying though is like if if, if I was like, oh, I just love that shit, right? In my head, that'd be like normal. Like that. That's like oh, yeah. you know what I mean. Like your base level of like normal, right? Yeah. It, yeah. We're doing a podcast in your basement. That's fucking weird. Right, like for we, sure. I do this all the time, though. Not your podcast, right? We do this all the time, right? Mm-hmm. So, but to somebody else, that's kind of like weird for us. It's just like a normal thing. You don't even think you'll you'll start taking stand up for granted too. Same thing, right? Like I do stand up all the time. You realize, oh wait, other people don't do that. But it's does that make sense? I take it for granted now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because people but, will be like, "Wow, it's really cool you do stand up." I'm like, yeah. Dude, <laughs> like, I'm just like. There's nothing I hate more than you go to a mic or a show and there's like some new person. Which I love new comics. Right, I always hated how people were assholes to me when I started. So I always tried to yeah. be nice to new guys. Mm. 
But like once in a while you talk to one, you're like, oh, get the fuck away from me. Yeah. Like, oh, don't you just love doing comedy? Like, I just want to bring joy to the world. Yeah. Through laughter. Get the fuck out of here. Like, I hate this shit. Yeah. Like, I can't stop. And then there's <laughs> always it. the new guy who comes in the scene who's like, I'm going to bring everyone together. It's yeah. like, you're going to bomb and become Jade like the rest of us. Yeah, so. go do your fucking show in your Swiss Bell restaurant. Get away from me. <laughs> yeah. I wish. Upstairs. I think if, honestly, I really think this, and we'll, we'll get off this in a second. I really think that if there was another club, an actual bona fide club in Pittsburgh, the scene would develop in a crazy rate. I, I mean, handguns kind of did. I mean, but that wasn't really No, no, a no. Club. I mean, another like an a, actual club. Well, the a, club, but they don't really, the A stuff won't do stuff for people. They just get famous people in. The but improv, it, yeah, yeah we, improv, improv's got it. Like they'll have like their thing where they have like an open mic, but they have a couple of their guys and they put them on. But like, you need like the fucking sea level one to still just throw everybody up. Yeah, I guess for the scene. More I guess, like, but just something for someone to reach to. You know, I mean, even a B level club to come in. I mean, don't you think like doing shows at arcade are kind of like that? No, it's and the arcade playing. books the same people over and over again. So book other people. Once in a while, yeah, you get a show there. I've done shows there. You, but you did, but not recently. I haven't. I've, I went and watched. Joey show. and I broke. We he, we talked about this the other day, yeah. where he was very honest. He, you know, it, it, okay, it, it doesn't matter. No, I'm I'm interested. Let me. Yeah, hear. this is great. It, like that pre-pandemic, they were really fun. Like they yeah. would have a lot of people come in. A lot of people did shows. It was a very welcoming place for comedy and probably the best crowds in the city but now it's like very and jay uh not jb uh joey had a great take on this where he said yeah it happened whenever they instituted the vaccine thing because then only people who got vaccinated went and no one who had the sensibilities or had the, like the whatever makeup they have that didn't want to get a vaccine they now couldn't go so their There's audience got like- refined to like this one ideology and so now they only book for that ideology they, they made that uh mandatory in chicago yeah it but like, like they forced. um what's it called uh arcade did it before it became a thing and they yeah. kept it going after it was a thing yeah like i think they still do that yeah so it's like all right like even still, they still they have the vaccine thing. So you're only having people who are into that kind of stuff. So like, and they only book for that. Now, how about this? Like, what about the whole idea of just booking your own shows? I that, that kind of died here. That was huge. That like blew the fuck. Like there were shows every day. I felt like here every weekend. I mean, I've shows. done it. It just it's a fucking grind. It's hard and it's it's stressful yeah, and it's it makes it not it. fun. I feel you. You know what I mean? Like you got to make opportunities if there's no opportunities for you. I feel you, but like I also don't want to do. I don't want to do like this. No disrespect to anyone who does shows at places like this. Yeah, I don't want to do a show at a VFW. I just don't. That's not my demographic at all. Yeah, like I want to do a show at a real fucking venue, but like, where are you gonna go? We used to do them at bars, breweries. Like you can find. But that's that's what I mean. Like I want to do a show at a venue. Like there's Club Cafe, but Southside in general is a hard draw right now. Go find a place that produces like indie shows and punk rock shows. They'll put you up. What's that? Go find a place that does like punk rock shows. I always thought about the place. It's called Craft House. Uh, we're getting so in the weeds in Pittsburgh. No, shit, oh, yeah. But... Uh, sorry. Yeah, welcome to the, <laughs> the Pittsburgh Castians, guys. <laughs> no, I love this shit. Sorry. I know. Me too. We'll talk about it afterward because people right now are like, what the fuck is Mount Washington? But anyways, um, I want to talk about T.O. T.O. Yeah. Terrell Owens, who was one of my favorite football players of all time. He, do we have it marked up where we want? Nope. We were supposed we'll to watch it. this, what, 30, 40 minutes ago? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. It's getting long. <laughs> um, he got in a fight, or not a fight, he got in an argument with the, this Karen lady. Yeah. And here, let's just, let's find the part where we wanted, and then I'm going to talk about it afterwards. It's, it's a pretty hilarious interaction. Oh, man, I can't wait. He was on his window and he started harassing. First of all, I didn't harass you. I think it was like four minutes in. You did. I hear with all of that. Okay, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Literally came after me. Yeah. The situation's hilarious. To baby. All right, are you gonna I, play? I bet it? she's woke on. Oh, do you want me? To play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and play it now. Quiet. There's Karen. Look at this. This is unbelievable. Swear to God, I've never been a part of nothing like this. I've seen it. She's I've breaking seen down. It. You have your ID. I've seen it. Yes, I've seen it, but this is firsthand. <laughs> oh boy, as she's crying. Oh my God, this is this is real. This is real. This is real. I wish I could see the go. comments on live. Go, I know. <laughs> this is real. Hearts going up. Yeah. Uh, 
This is real. This is Be like, real. Being like, Donovan McNabb's a pussy. I've seen it, but I've never been a part of this. This is real life. And now she's crying. Her husband tried to tell her to go in the house, but now she wanted to do it. Yeah, her, her husband's there. I'm going to be here with yeah. my camera to show everything. It's like, please stop. Yeah. First of all, I, you need to stop that. You were speeding through the neighborhood. You were not. I was in the garage. Oh, black lady backed him up. I ain't that because I was sitting in the garage. She said I was speak. First of all, I, yeah, was, I know what you're saying. Cool dangly area. No, no, I get you. Oh, yeah. No, uh, this is fire. real. This is real life in 2020. I bet he's got a huge cock. <laughs> and I've she crying. I've never seen. I, dude, I've seen it on, on, on TV. I've seen it on video. But th- I've never really been a part of something like this. This is unbelievable. Then she brought up that I'm the subject of HOA. said Everybody's been talking about me. My, my I house. hate HOA. Talk about my dog I shitting mean, in the yard. Did we miss it? Everything. I don't think so. I, how do I know? Because she told me. Karen. What's her name? Kate. Close enough, Kate. Yeah. <laughs> so when I drove by, she said she called the police. I was like, cool. I'm going to sit right here till they come. I think we missed it. Wow. I'm really? going to sit right here till they come. There's one line I got to get. Yo, she just started crying just now. Oh, when they First of all, I didn't harass you. She telling me to slow down. I said, what do you mean slow down? I said, yo, I'm just going to the mailbox. And then she goes, get the fuck out of the middle of the road. First of all, I didn't I almost hit you. Now you're just making up stuff. Just like a Karen. I did, how did I almost hit you and I'm going to the mailbox? Yeah, I called you a Karen when I came over here after you said I called the police. You treat me like Absolutely. Andy Reid. Then you, then you went on to say, oh, I'm the, the subject of the HOA meeting, this and that and the other. I got liens and shit on my house, this and that and the other. Then you start bringing up my status, who I was. My this is how rich up, people roast bed. each other. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you the one brought it up, lady. I did it. You did it. You did. First of all, here first, comes. First of all, I didn't almost hit her. Okay. No, 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 I'm okay. fine, sir. I, first of all, I didn't almost hit her. I understand that. Just relax. I'm not finna sit up here. And... He ran the stop sign. <laughs> well, there is no stop sign. What are you talking about? I understand. <laughs> I wasn't, but I asked him to slow down, and he started. He got out of his car. And here it comes. Me. Right, because you're going to yell at me and tell me I almost hit you, and I didn't. But you didn't have to get out of your fucking car. You didn't have to talk to me that way either, Karen. You're a black man approaching a white woman. First of all, you had your oh, yeah. right oh. here. Your that, she right just here. went viral. Yahtzee, yeah, yeah, yeah. there it is. You can stop it now. <sighs> black Could man. you imagine your wife arguing <laughs> with Terrell Owens? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then her saying that to him, like, could you? I would just be like in the fancy football chat, yeah. my boy's like, "Holy shit, guys, it's happening!" Yeah, <laughs> I just won. <laughs> yeah, and this crazy bitch, and all all the league is making memes of the of this shit and stuff. Yeah, I. Oh god, you ever been in a situation? You have a girlfriend. Yeah. You ever been in a situation where like she said some shit that got you in a situation? I'm trying to think. No, because she's a white lady. Well, that, that no, girl's I mean, white she lady accidentally too. tells me all the time. She what? She'll tell on me all the time. She tells parents. on yeah. you? To who? Yeah, like when we first started dating, uh, my mom's like, I, I, you don't need to ride a motorcycle. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to fucking ride a motorcycle. And I said, hey, I'm going to go take the class over to DMV. I'm like 24. I don't give a fuck, right? Uh-huh. And she's like, okay. Like, don't tell my mother if she calls. And my mother calls and she immediately goes, yeah, he's in motorcycle class right now. Like immediately. What the fuck? Like, yeah, she'll rat me out like super hard. But she doesn't get you into like awkward situations. Like she won't like start fights with other people and then be like, then you have to end, like deal with it. Not really. I in Florida when I date Latina girls, they would do that to me constantly. Yeah, they would always get into fucking horse shit, and then I'd have to look at the dude like, hey man, we're both cool dudes. Yeah, like don't we're not hit gonna me. get into it. Like yeah. it wasn't even that. It's like why we don't need to get into this over some stupid don't girl hit me. shit. Hit her. Yeah, hit she deserves she deserves it. Hit her, yeah. I'm just trying to chill. We'd probably be friends if it wasn't for this. That that's one of my biggest pet peeves is like it's like, bro, if there was no cops there, you if this was those social contract where like a guy is just allowed to like just physically destroy a woman, she would never say that shit to him. Right? She would never like be starting this conversation like slow down, slow down. It's like I used to hang out with Steeler players. I would never. I was very respectful to them. I didn't tease them and do all types of shit because they were three times my size and I'm a big dude. Yeah, but I don't know. It, 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 it's just like people like it doesn't even have to be just like chicks, dude. Like some of those people, like the certain suburbs in Chicago, even were like that. Of course, that was entitled. Yeah, yeah. Just start yelling at you and shit. Yeah, yeah. 
That's, I would, I would, I want to be a hot girl for one day in my life. Like, just like live in the they body have, of a sexy ass female for one day. They have procedures for that. <laughs> well, one day. <laughs> and just, just to feel the entitlement. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't, don't you ever like wonder, like don't think about the power they wield. And one day like to just be like, Yes, no to a guy. Like they literally can See, decide. What I, re- they want. I reject passes on guys now. You ever hear saying yes? What? You ever hear saying yes to guys all the time? No. 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 What is that? You can still reject guys. Me? Yeah. I, like if a, if a gay dude hits on you. Yes. Yeah. You can still but reject. It's, it's them. not wanted. But why would I reject him? No. But like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like the power that a really hot girl wields. Yeah. I would love to feel that shit for a day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just like I bet it gets old. You think? Like I bet it does simping. not. You don't think so? I bet they take it for granted. They. I don't I was, think it gets old. I was in this engineering class. And there was one chick. It, it, she was like a six out of ten, but she became an engineering school nine out of ten. Exactly. Right? Like yeah. Relative. Yeah. And uh, all the guys kept trying to like put her jacket on her. What? So it was all like the uh, white knight kind of guys, oh, like uh, fedora guys. Like here, let me get that for you. Oh. I was like irritated. I would hate that. Oh uh, yeah, that that is cringy. But I know a lot of girls who keep dudes like that around to do shit for them. Yeah, that's but true. will never fuck them, but just keep them around. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't, I, I definitely am jaded when it comes to girls. If, like, if you were a hot girl for a day, yeah, and only one day, and they could reverse the procedure. Okay, how would your day go? And what would your name be? Jasmine. Would you still keep your last name Brennan? No. They call you Jazzy B. <laughs> It'd be Jasmine Knight with a K. Jasmine Knight? Jasmine Knight. Are you going to be a black girl? Of course. <laughs> I'm going to have hoop earrings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I would turn down NBA players all day yeah. and make them feel small. Like, that's why like, I can't always blame them because I would do the same thing if I was them. Yeah. And I would fuck at a really ugly dude, because that would make his life. So you just had to pencil that one in your day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, by, I gotta get that one by in. eight p.m. Yeah. before they go back to home. Fuck an extremely ugly guy. Yes. Yeah, just to just to do it. Just hit the first open mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh <laughs> uh, fuck. Yeah. I, I I I don't know. I a lot of this shit comes from like deep seated anger and gr- towards girls from like when I was young. But it's yeah. just. Is me trying to logically like I try to logically understand them, but they're not logical creatures. So it's like a it's a it's a futile so effort. So what we gotta do is find a chick you can. Uh, what's that movie called? Freaky Friday. <laughs> like switch bodies with. Yeah. That by the way, great movie. Yeah. That's a great movie idea. Yeah. What if uh, we had like a super hot model chick switch with an open mic stand up? <laughs> I'm gonna write that. The that's trans a, version a, of Freaky Friday. It won't be trans. It would you, no because you switch your soul switch bodies. You're not like transitioning. Yes, but it's body. a guy going into a girl and a girl going into a guy. That's they never made that yet. That's not even. That's not really like trans though. Well, it, you're it's, still like it's your trans soul. adjacent. It's trans adjacent. <laughs> it's it's soul. Yeah. It's it's a trans soul. It's an ally. Because if the guy likes it better, then he is probably trans, right? If he's like, you know what, I should have been this body the entire time. Oh wait a second, there was a movie like that. Um. With uh, uh, why well, can't I remember his name? White Fuck. chicks. Na- no, yeah, white chicks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, I think I know what you're talking about. It was on Netflix. Yeah, ago. it was on Netflix. Why can't I remember his name? Like Is it Vince Vaughn. Yeah, Vince Vaughn movie. He went in the body of a. It's called girl? Freaky Friday the Thirteenth or something like no. that. No. Yeah, he's right. Yeah. What? As he became a serial, he was a serial killer. Like, no. Jason. Yeah, dude. They made that it. sounds like the worst movie of all time. And it's like less than a year old. With Vince Vaughn? Oh, it's two years old. Is it like yeah, a parody freaky. thing? It's it's actually uh I really liked it. Look up here, can you blow up the synapses? Do you want me to just pull up the trailer? Uh, sure. Uh, Good morning. Good morning. That's me, Millie. Ordinary, boring Millie. I love your dress. I think I saw it at Discount Bonanza. <laughs> okay, so I was never the most Burn. popular. <laughs> Fucking got her. <laughs> and boys never really noticed me. <laughs> Hell yeah. Wow. Classic bullying. Honestly, yep. If this was a horror movie, I'd be one of the first ones to get killed. You, the creepy dude in the mask. That's, that's, how, said, that's how Elliot approaches me at Mike's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, so she but trained actually, she changes bodies with him. Where am I? I didn't get killed. Oh my god, why do I sound like that? That's what my bedroom looks like. The, <laughs> <laughs> the Blissfield Butcher strikes again. Don't freak out. You're black! I'm gay! We are so dead! Ow! Will you stop? It's me, it's Millie! Hill, Hill, Blissfield, I feel our glory and our might. <laughs> And not only is that psycho wearing my body, he's killing it. So yeah, this happened. Like, this is enough. Yep. God almighty. Yeah, first Imagine thing. how many great movies and shows they said no to, and then they're like, yeah. Yeah, let's make this one happen. <laughs> let's, ma let's make this. I don't this. think you understand. This is a masterpiece. 83% Rotten Tomatoes. Is that what that says? It is. All right. It's good. Wow. You watch it? Yeah. It was good? Yeah, it's really good. All right. Like, uh, it's better than The Godfather. Oh, right. Well, okay. <laughs> three? If you said three, I'd take that. No, dude, that was, God. okay, so Godfather 1, just a, a really good movie, right? Godfather 2, probably the best movie of all Ever. time. Yeah. Godfather 3, it's Grand Theft Auto 3 with an <laughs> incest subplot line. Yeah. And well, I, it, it, it's, they start machine gunning down fucking buildings, and then it's like, uh, by the way, your daughter's fucking her cousin. <laughs> yeah, I, and it's funny too because between two and three, uh, uh, um, Al Pacino did his metamorphosis of like the younger Pacino, where he talks like this and his mouth is real wide shut, and then he's like the hua, like yeah. I'm Al Pacino. And it's like he's nothing like how Michael was when he was younger. No. <laughs> to... Well, th that's why uh, Francis changed it, I guess. Like, uh, it it's not really the Godfather Three. It's called like the Godfather. Um, I can't like cornucopia. It it's something that's like not. It's the Godfather. He, if he, everyone he, sucked. He, he went back. He recut the movie. Right. Okay. Changed like the orders of some scenes. Cut stuff out because he said it was too long, and then called it something else. Hmm. I can't remember. What Interesting. Is. This is great because the whole half of this podcast, I've just been like, "Yeah, you, this thing I can't remember." <laughs> it's all right. It was a, it was a fun podcast. Yeah, the new cut, whatever it's called, shorter runtime. Coda. Yeah, because he says it should have never existed. That yeah, number three shouldn't have. Yeah, which it shouldn't have. It's terrible. It shouldn't have. Yeah. Yeah, really. And he put the the he fucking puts his daughter Sophia. She's terrible. She yeah. played like the daughter. Yeah, I like I like old, I like young Michael. That's my father. My father's business. Young Michael. That could be a rap name. Young Michael. Yeah, it would be a good one. Yeah, that's a good one, yeah. right? Except you're like thirty. I know you're gonna die soon. I'm so old. I like. I keep thinking like before. You used to be like, I want to get skinny so I could like fuck more girls but now it's like i need to get skinny so that because diabetes is coming yeah no i had that thought <laughs> you know what i mean I'm I, like, I drank like four glasses of sweet tea last night instead of all night pissing so i went to the gym this morning i'm not even kidding <laughs> you ever get thirsty in the day and be like oh shit it's here yeah it's here yeah, yeah. fuck like you drink a milkshake you're like this this was the milkshake yeah this was down. the diabetes <laughs> milkshake Dude, fuck like i went to the gym and i did like a whole bunch of like chest you know yeah and then uh my chest hurt and i was like here it is. <laughs> it's a heart attack. I'm like, oh, you fucking idiot. Did you get COVID? Oh, you got COVID. I've had COVID. It was it, it was rough on you? Uh, not really. It's Me not, neither. It, it was not bad. I'm like, I'm a lucky fat guy. Like, yeah, I got COVID, are. and it was like, whatever. I got COVID twice. So yeah, like, I had it twice. It, it sucks. It sucks really bad, but, like, I don't know. And now if we were fat and old. That would be fucked. Or, we or let's be honest, fat and black. Yeah. We'd be fucked. Mm. I, I heard the reason I'd that be a way better stand-up, though. So much better. Yeah. I heard the reason that, me too, I heard the reason that Hashtag me black too. people get it worse is because, like, say you're a black person, you live here, or like New York or something like that. Yeah. Chicago. Your skin is meant to block out the sun. Yeah. Right? That's why there are black people, because they were in Africa, where there's yeah. more sun. And so they you don't take in as much vitamin D. Well, that's why, like, uh, Italian people and Middle Eastern people have vitamin D deficiencies, too, in Pennsylvania. Yeah, I, I take, take vitamin it? D every day. Yeah. Yep, every day. I think it helped too. I think that the really, fact that I think it helped for sure because I got it. it was it was so easy for me. Yeah, the seasonal depression is real. Yes. Yeah, and you feel like shit and like oh yeah, uh, this ain't the Mediterranean. 
Yeah, except I get depressed because when it's hot out, because you can see where my titties are sweating. Yeah. And I'm like, this is depressing. I probably smell terrible. I was completely drenched in sweat before I came here. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah it's, you've been okay so was, uh, Stay over there. Welding a grill together. Oh, that thing looks dope, <laughs> yeah, by the way. Dude, it's yeah, it's pretty badass. Um, actually, just why don't you let the people know where they can find you uh, on social media? You can find me at Chris Scriva Comedy, C H R I S S C R I V A Comedy on YouTube, Instagram. Uh, it, yeah, those are the main two. I also have an OnlyFans that that sucks. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I made an I OnlyFans know. and like nobody can subscribe to me. And I know, it's just like real creepy. They try to uh, do this thing where like they're gonna be not porn. Just just be porn. Yeah, just be porn. just be porn. Half the comedians that subscribe to me. Or I subscribe back, right? Because they try like and put you together. Yeah. Uh, it'll be come see my show in Pasadena. It's like yeah, I'll get right on that. Then it's like, <laughs> you want to see my titties? Five dollars. It's like no, I have a Google connection. I just type yeah. in uh, boobs.com. Pornhub's but, free. <laughs> yeah. But, boobs.com. Um, yeah, hell yeah. And then uh, I hate stand up on Twitter. I'm gonna start using that again. That's your that's your Twitter. I hate stand up. Yeah, it's that's pretty hilarious. Fire. Yeah. Um, also, we didn't talk about this. But you, have, you have a podcast at two, or it's a yeah, two broke at, girls, at two hot, two broke girls. The, the TV, the TV show. show, two hot girls about making cupcakes and shit. Two hot girls, two hot girls. Yeah, a podcast by dudes, man. <laughs> it goes hard. So two, like the number two hot girls. Yeah, pod on most platforms. You and who? Uh, Ryan Guerrero. Ryan Guerrero, nice yeah, improviser from Chicago. Yeah, we're gonna have him on when he comes in. Oh yeah. Uh, is he a stand up or just an improviser? He just says improv. He just oh, that's stand cool. up once in a while. Sketch. That's all right. Um, yes. Uh, yeah, go watch his YouTube. He's, he puts up tons of stand up clips and shit. Plus, uh, you do mostly crowd work, so it's easy to make clips I don't out do of it. Mostly yeah. crowd work. I've been doing a lot more of it for that. It's well, a, a, I mean, I'm, for clips wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, it's good for clips. Yeah. Cause like I don't I never I don't want to burn my material like as if like I'm gonna make some fucking Netflix special or something. But well, my material sucks anyways. I'll burn it. Fuck it. Let's write more. <laughs> <laughs> um, as always, you can follow me at Corey Brennan Comedy on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, Jasmine at, Knight at uh, OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, in my dreams at I am Corey Brennan on Twitter. Make sure to like subscribe. Oh, also, there's a new feature. If we're we're gonna put the link up. Uh, not on the screen, but it will be in the uh, show notes description description of whatever you're listening to. Uh, we use Anchor to Ooh. host our podcast, and they have a feature where you can support the show. So uh, this will always be free. But if you're like, hey, they're cool. They do good content. Go ahead. You can donate on a monthly or one time. Would you want to donate to okay. this? I'll donate. Okay. <laughs> donate ten thousand dollars a month. Fuck yeah! So I'm rich. Yes, and look, I'm not gonna lie to you. If we get enough donations where I don't have to work anymore, I'm not going to. But we'll make more content. It's just a way for us to make more content. Yeah. But we'll also buy me cool shit. Hell yeah! And the studio and stuff like that. But anyways, if you feel like doing that, we'll put the link up. Go ahead and donate. You can do a dollar a month. A dollar a month. Cue Sarah McLaughlin song. Yeah. In the arms of an angel, I ate sheets again. <laughs> I want real food for once. Go eat a gecko, then sheets turns into a five star restaurant. I do geckos fucking horrible. Their sandwiches got fucking smaller, and the chicken tastes like I'm eating a fucking <laughs> so boot sole. See, people only in Pennsylvania knows what we're talking about, but it's okay. At least it's not Wawa. I've never been to a Wawa. It sucks. It sucks. Okay. It's like gecko, but less aesthetic. Interesting, huh? Um, also, badly. people, I've actually had a couple people on Instagram hit me up about this. We will do a Patreon at some point, but it's down the road. Okay, so if people are like, "Oh, I'll spend money," but with Patreon, we're not doing that. So for right now, just donate. Uh, we will see you guys next week. Thank you for listening. As always, stay black.